Hi guys, welcome to HC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you an easy way to disable Secure Boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11. There are few reasons people may want to disable Secure Boot in Windows 10. Number 1. Compatibility with older operating system that lack Secure Boot support. Number 2. Compatibility issues with certain hardware components or drivers that don't meet Secure Boot requirements. Number 3. The need to install custom or self-signed operating system that are not officially supported. And number 4. Smooth operation of dual boot or multi boot systems that can be hindered by secure boot restriction. However, it's important to maintain caution when disabling secure boot, as it is a security feature designed to protect against malware and unauthorized software. So, let's get started. Power on your system and immediately press the F2 key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup. Alternatively, press and hold the shift key and then click on restart. Now, it will take you to Windows Advanced Recovery Environment. Now, click on Troubleshoot. Then, Advanced option. Then UEFI Framework Settings and click on Restart. Once you are in the BIOS setup, use the arrow keys or mouse to navigate to the Secure Boot option. It is usually located under the Boot or Security or Security Boot tab, but the exact location may vary depending on your manufacturer BIOS. Ok, as you can see here it is. Now uncheck the Secure Boot option or select the Secure Boot option and change its value to disabled or off. Some manufacturer BIOS may have a secure boot control option instead which should also be set to disable. Save the changes by pressing the F10 key or the key specified for the saving and exiting the BIOS. Confirm any prompts that appear. After that the system will restart and secure boot will be disabled. Now let me show you the secure boot status from boot manager. Ok, as you can see secure boot status is off. Now let me show you the secure boot status from windows system information tab. Alright, as you can see the secure boot status is off. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.